Hi there, I'm Bob. I guess my thoughts for the summer, and I've been thinking about some of this stuff for a long time, um, often go back to um, the character of Peter, I'm looking at Peter in the Bible and who he was and how he interacted with Jesus and what he kind of learned about Jesus and the story that we kind of see unfold in the Gospels of Peter and, um, and that journey that he goes on. And I guess like the first thing that you kind of notice about Peter is that when he meets Jesus, he's utterly terrified. Um, and uh, he sees Jesus do a miracle, you know, there's that story in Mark of when Jesus walks alongside the Sea of Galilee and he, he sees these <coughs> two boats, he's trying to teach people but maybe there's a bit of a crowd gathering around him and he says to Peter, can I use your boat, can I step into your boat? And, and from that moment when Peter says yes, his life completely changes as Jesus steps into his boat and um, begins to teach people from Peter's boat. And, um, and then Jesus asked Peter to, to go and push out into deeper water and, um, you know, and they've, the story goes that they've been fishing all night but they haven't caught anything and suddenly when Jesus is in the boat, Peter sort of recognises something's different about this guy and he says, because you say so, I'll let down the nets for a catch. And, um, and then the story goes that they let down the nets for a catch, they catch so many fish that the nets began to like break, they began to burst, they began to haul these fish onto the boat and as they do the boat starts to sink and, um, and they call their mates over, James and John, and they come over and they fill both boats so full that they begin to sink and, um, and there's something in me which like, I just think that story is totally amazing. It's, it must be amazing for these fishermen, first of all, who were like been doing the job for years and suddenly this bloke steps into their boat and they catch so many fish when he tells them where to fish that the boats begin to sink. And, um, and it says in the story, if you read it, Mark, that um, when Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees and said, get away from me, Lord, for I'm a sinful man. And, um, and that's Peter's first interaction with Jesus. He meets Jesus, he hears Jesus speak, he obeys what Jesus says, and then he's so in awe of who Jesus is, who he discovers Jesus to be in that moment that he doesn't know fully who he is, but he realises there's something uniquely sovereign and holy about this man. And, um, and he says, get away from me, Lord, for I'm a sinful man. And, and, um, and you kind of see the same thing when Moses meets God on the mountain and um, in the burning bush. And it says Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. And, and I think Moses and Peter, they go on this journey together of becoming friends with God. They go on, on this journey of understanding more of who God is, but also becoming friends with him. And if you look at both the stories, you know, Moses goes on that journey and that adventure and you get to chapter 33 in Exodus and it talks about Moses speaking with God face to face like a man would speak with his friend. And, um, and Peter goes on that journey. If you, if, you, if you flip forward in the Gospels, like right to the end, after Jesus has died, after he's, been, he's risen again, he's come out of the tomb and he's appeared to his disciples, he meets John on the shore of, uh, of Lake Galilee again and the, the disciples have gone out fishing so he meets Peter on the shores of Lake Galilee again and, and the disciples have gone fishing and because um, they don't really know what else to do and in that moment they, they fish they don't catch anything and then they see on the shore this figure and they're like and the figure tells them to put the net in again and, and they catch a, a huge number of fish again and Peter knows immediately that's Jesus that is Jesus and it says that he like wrapped his garment around him or whatever he was wearing and jumped into the water to be with Jesus and I love the picture of Peter at the beginning when he meets Jesus saying, Jesus, get out of my boat, like, I, I can't be near you. To, to that journey that they go on where Peter is jumping out of a boat in order to be with Jesus and the contrast in those things. And the same for Moses being someone who hides his face from God to someone who speaks with God face to face as a man speaks with his friend. And, and I think for me, the reflections on all of this stuff that we come to over the summer, this amazing stuff that is Soul Survivor and Momentum and, and all the festivals, they are all to empower us to live that life of friendship with God, to know Him more, to journey with Him, not thinking that He's God to be you know, feared and revered, although He is in some senses, but He is more so calling us to be His friends, to know Him and to grow in our love and our, our affection for Him because of his affection for us. And I think Peter gets that. Peter understands something of that in, in his journey with Jesus, that despite all his failings, despite even denying who Jesus is three times, despite all his mess ups, he's still, Jesus is still the person he wants to run to. He's still a person he loves to be with. He's still the person that has become not just God to him, not just the son of God, Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us, but has also become his friend. And I love that picture that we see in scripture. So there's an encouragement for you to walk with throughout the year.